what is going on guys and welcome on in it's that time of the week we got patch notes as well as i'll do my weekly uh video summon guide we're going to talk about the two units that are coming out on the banner this week that is celine and flan i'll just give my very very basic brief thoughts on each as well as their artifacts and then let's also talk about ilinov and ml kawazu who are new units coming out now guys quick spoiler alert um, with the collab that we're all still waiting and hyped for, um, as well as the summer units, summer, Seaside Bologna, Holiday Euphine, and potentially uh, Seaside Isaria. None of these units are limited. Ilinov has been confirmed not limited, so you really should probably just save if you're on the fence, if you have limited resources, if you're free to play, etc. Probably should just save for almost anything that is not limited that comes out between now and collab and summer units okay but in case you have extra bookmarks and one of these units you really really love i'll give my thoughts on each as well as the artifacts like i said and then um yeah let's go ahead and talk about the new heroes oh at the end i also want to talk just brief patch note kind of recap for uh, my newer players that may don't maybe you don't watch the patch notes and watch the live stream i'll give a quick update on what's coming besides just the ml5 connection uh selector because there's a lot of stuff that you guys should be excited for okay but without further ado, let's begin with Ilinov, guys. Man, she looks amazing, boys. Uh, we don't have time to watch the entire video. If you would like to, guys, uh, later today when I wake up again on the Twitch live stream, I'll go over every single thing. We'll watch all the videos together. We break down each unit, and I, you know, we talk with Chad and just figure out the nitty-gritty. But we'll just go over the basics right now because I don't want the video to run too long. Ilinov, Fire Knight with Crit Chance imprint and self-imprint. One of the best imprint concentrations you can get so if you were planning to whale out for Ilanov, um this is a very nice imprint to kind of get multiple copies of her for okay now let's go ahead and look at the skill three repel one of the best animations you've ever seen oh my god guys go ahead if you haven't seen the video watch it after this on their youtube channel it's insane as well her her skill two she looks so so dang good but aoe increased crit damage to her team um her allies as well as two turn immunity to herself Keep in mind, boys, the increased crit damage is very, very unique. The only other unit in the game that provides a team-wide increased crit damage is Green Rin, and she has a random, it's a random buff, so it's very rare to get it from her. Flan can give a single target. Uh, we'll talk about Flan later, but um, yeah, it, it's a, it's not quite as universal as attack up, but it can be very good because not a lot of units have it. Self-immunity is also very good, and as we're going to see in the skill two, she also has increased defense for herself, so self uh, self-providing immunity and defense which are very very nice however she does also come with injury which a lot of us are still burned if you are newer you don't know about more the great Mortelix, who is kind of the laughing stock of uh, the game right now he has an injury in his kit and it just really doesn't do much people don't farm katie's hunt either injury set is not great however Ilinov might be the one to kind of make injury shine a little bit or at least make it work where it's not just you know a, a very lackluster um kit I don't think you'll ever really want to soul burn if you decide to build her on counter or maybe even Elbrus because of the skill one. Check this skill one out, guys. A lot of people were comparing it to Charles. It is a little bit different, though, because Charles gets his actual skill one and they can proc an additional skill two on top of it. This will just straight up replace. Instead of skill one attacking, she can potentially just 50-50 chance to just straight up use her skill two, which does the injury uh, bonus, also providing herself with defense up. So... The skill does not trigger off a dual attack, but it is confirmed it will work on counter. It will work with Elbrus Artifact, and it looks amazing. So imagine Ilanov, just every time she's hit, she has a chance. Every time her, her allies are hit, if you're on Elbrus, she has a chance, instead of just using a skill 1, to proc this insanely awesome-looking Punish, which provides injury and will scale up the more times you use it. So she could be... She seems like an amazingly fun unit. I don't know how strong she'll be. We have to wait to actually test her, as well as see the multipliers. But if you do like her style, you know, Card's going to pick her for... Even if her kit was completely terrible, you know, there's two big reasons I'll be pulling for her. Maybe you're the same. But since he's not limited, um, you can safely skip her and just get her later on. Not limited means you probably want to save her collab and the summer units, unless you really, really love her. And maybe you have some bookmarks saved up, because I definitely will be trying to get her. Um, the artifact increases crit chance by 15% at base, even at max. So that's kind of nice. Uh, means even at, and at level 15 it'll give 50% uh, damage on the single attack scaling I don't think this will be her best artifact she does kind of have that style though maybe it will be maybe it will be a viable alternative um, but it doesn't seem like it's super super must have by any means uh, if anything pick it up with powder 
And if you don't want to summon for Ilanov and you kind of like the style. I don't really know what other knights. Um, if you guys have some ideas for other knights that might want this, you know, let me know. But um, yeah, I think I'll be testing Elbrus first. It, it is pretty unique. I kind of like the the uh, the scaling sort of um, single attack method. But yeah, I don't know how good it's actually going to end up being. So that's Ilanov in a nutshell, guys. We'll have to see how powerful she ends up being. But she looks really fun. She has some unique aspects uh, to her kit. And she looks amazing, okay? That's Ilanov. So after her, let's go ahead and get to... Um, I have up next, we got... Let's get out of full screen here. We have Inferno or ML Kawazu, guys. A Dark Warrior attack, self-imprint, and health imprint release. Guys, I think ML Kawazu is has a very very awesome kit okay skill two uh, malicus's power dispels all debuffs which is insane as well as giving himself self-healing combat readiness and grants vigor which i believe gives some attack and defense uh mal recovery increases personal to the caster's attack can be able to activate it once per two turn per every two turns um but if you just bring him versus aoe units which nowadays guys everyone is drafting or picking aoe units in their arena defenses guild war defenses as well as rta of course because you need to be able to hit those stealth specter tenebrias everyone's gonna be grabbing specter tenebria on thursday too so people will want to bring you know aoe units to try and stop that as well as stealth guiding light landies stealth tempest sirens it's always better to have aoe on your on your kit so he will have no trouble or he's gonna have a spot somewhere with how much aoe is running around in the game and this is a very stacked amazing skill too uh i it's it's honestly uh, crazy how much it has stacked into it now uh, his skill one guys if you watch the video so let's read it real fast first attacks the enemy with flame single target with a chance to burn and then uh when he's granted vigor from the skill two chance increase and you get double burn now in the video if you watch this guys i kind of wish they fixed this up new confirmed on the live stream that he's still being worked on so this this soul burn was not listed for a reason but if you watch the video let's it's muted um he will actually you see that he actually soul burned into his extra turn. I don't know if that's going to stay. I kind of wish they thought it out more or finalized his release before they put this video out. But um, if that does stay, that's also insanely powerful because he can do the burns and then self detonate with skill one. But even if he doesn't have that, his skill three guys, Flames of Destruction, will have a detonate effect. And oh my god, this is kind of crazy. If you ever looked at Fire Ken's kit, I think he's Fire Ken on steroids. He's a way better Fire Ken in my opinion. Um... He inflicts two burns again at the end of the turn he'll detonate them and then he also ignores effect resist guys we've seen how awesome detonate can be with carrot this will be a little bit different however the fact that he ignores effect resist um is insanely insanely crazy he's gonna be able to knock out those annoying um resist heavy units and uh do if you see here on the fcc he pops her for uh i believe 24k so we'll see how much it ends up doing but i think he's got a very unique kit it is all single target but you bring him versus aoe units like last rider crowd seaside bologna landies you name it almost every unit now has some aoe's um so i think he's gonna definitely have a spot he will be released in three weeks i believe three weeks after ml uh Kowaric, probably with the rerun unit who a lot of us are predicting is ruel okay keep that in mind guys for your decision on thursday for the ml connection selector Ruel may get a Mystic Rerun because she will be getting a skin from the RTA season, but it's not confirmed, so uh, we'll have to see. All right, guys, with that being said, let's cover Celine and Flan's uh, kit and artifact real fast. Celine, uh, if you weren't able to pull her before, she can be a nice anti-cleave unit. Her skill two, it's really the uh, the, what, the thing she's most known for. Whenever an enemy uses a non-attack skill, she'll blink and counterattack. There's an exclusive equipment that can buff this. Uh, to hit a guaranteed unit that has the highest attack so if you need a anti-cleave style unit or if you just like her style and then want to find a spot for her it is typically bringing her versus units like auxiliary lots uh challenger dominion you know those typical cleave setups she can kind of have a chance to interrupt and stop your opponent from doing their game plan now let's talk about her artifact guys secret art storm sword this is her best slot artifact if you're going for maximum damage it gives the attack up but it does have an RNG aspect. If you weren't planning to whale out and max this, max limit break this, you might be better off just going for a straight damage artifact like Portrait, Tonfa, Symbol of Unity, something that doesn't have an RNG factor built in because at max this will be, I believe, 75%. So I don't know if you're willing to roll the dice on that. It is, however, if you want the most damage, her best in slot artifact, okay? So that's Celine. 
kind of more niche you don't see her as often definitely not definitely not must pull but uh if you like her looks and want a place for her i'm sure you can find her as kind of a backup um counter style unit countering um cleave setups of course now let's go ahead and talk about flan flan guys just got some crazy buffs she is now absolutely insane Celine counters cleaves, Flan sets up cleaves. So if you do like that kind of offensive play style, especially if you're a cleaver, you do want to pick up Flan post buff. She's straight up better than um, Blue Tywin. She's just, she's absolutely insane now. Now, besides Flan, her kit is very straightforward. If you like that offensive play style and cleaving, like I said, look into getting Flan. But her artifact is something I think we should talk about a little bit more. A lot of people don't know the all the interactions with this Unseen Observer. If you haven't heard of the artifact, Taga Hells, um, Taga Hells book, it gives 20 souls at max limit break. It's a major artifact. And the reason it's so powerful is because you can soul burn straight out of the gate with a lot of units. Carrot, look at Carrot. She can self soul burn uh, when she's holding that book. This is for Rangers. These are the only two artifacts that give souls, um, I believe. Um, and this, the fact that this is another alternative that can be used on Rangers is very powerful. Now, it has, it's 10 less souls than um, Taga Hells, but. When you use it on units like, let's say, guys, if anyone here, if you're watching, you're picking Dark Corvus on Thursday. Dark Corvus Soulburn only costs 10 souls. And if you combine it with a unit like Iceria, there's some crazy combos you can do, guys. So if you know Dark Corvus, he takes him a, a while to ramp up unless you reduce his uh, skill 3 cooldown with Iceria's skill 2 reset. If you put the Unseen Observer on, um, if you put the Unseen Observer onto... Iceria, you will get those 10 souls. You skill reset Dark Corvus. Then with the 10 souls, you soul burn Dark Corvus. Guys, that combo, typically really only seen in Arena or Guild War. But I, I've seen seen some people pull it off in or RTA. It's just much harder. But that is a combo that will guarantee kill a unit. Um, if you speed tune it correctly, it feels so dang good. Almost nothing can live versus uh, a well, you know, a high HP Dark Corvus that is soul burning his skill three. So keep that in mind. One other thing I need to mention too, guys, also with the connector, let's say you're not picking Dark Corvus, but you know you'll be fighting a lot of Arbiter Vildreds, right? Let's say you don't have access to some extinction units. Well, there's a very, very accessible one, guys. He is just a base three star, so you'll probably you probably have one already. You just don't even know it. Or you'll get one eventually when you do some summons. Glenn is a nice anti-RB counter, especially with the Unseen Observer artifact. What does that do? He gives him 10 souls, right? Because he is a ranger. Now, once you awaken him, there's something missing from this kit, guys, but it does give him an extra turn. He gives himself greater attack up, which is crazy. Extra turn, and then he leads into skill two, which also gives hit chance, and you can soul burn it for extra damage, guys. So even if your opponent's RB is built a little bit tankier, if it's D-Gen counter RB, which is typically tankier, um, he has a chance to pretty much almost fully mitigate um, a Dream Blade. He'll still have 5% chance to dodge, but that is huge, having that built-in hit chance. Then you soul burn for the extra damage as well as a greater attack up and do extra turn. Just insanely cool kit. Um, if you need an RB answer, look at this guy, okay? I may make a video on that. Maybe I'll build him just for fun so I can show you all exactly how it's done. But I just think the uh, artifact is something really worth mentioning. Even if you don't, let's say you don't cleave, um, so you're not really planning on pulling for Flan, you may want to consider getting this with Powder just, just in case, guys. It's a very unique artifact. Nothing else in the game can quite do this, for Rangers especially. So um, keep that in mind, all right? Other than that, guys, those are the summons. Nothing is must pull. I kind of just gave some quick basic takes on each. If you were considering pulling them, let's say you have extra resources. So uh, good luck on your summons. Save for collab and the summer units if you if you are limited on resources, okay? Other than that, guys, for the patch notes, all my returning and newer players, glad to have y'all back. Glad to have y'all starting the game. This is the best time to start on Thursday, boys. We are having not only just the ML5 selector, but increased energy gains. Um, energy reduction, gold reduction, increased Molagora gains, the new dog walking feature, which by the way, guys, will completely eliminate the need to uh, bring fodder on your dog walking runs. They've confirmed that penguins will get the full XP. Um, so dog walking in general, farming in general just got so much better. Increased catalyst stuff too, guys. Never a better time to start. Seven day logins for returning players, new players, as well as veteran players. My goodness, y'all, if, if you're not excited by now, I know a lot of people are still waiting on that dang collab, but we're going to get so much stuff. You're also going to get compensation rewards if you ever did some Abyss. Other things, just expect a lot, a lot of goodies coming in. Hunt buff is confirmed, by the way, guys. Those of you that have been asking me, Car, when's the next hunt buff? Um, Spirit Altar, as well as hunt buff, will be coming. So if you need to get those uh, three-star, especially changes unlocked for the, um, for the ML Selector, 
please make sure you take advantage of both the spirit altar event and then of course if you need gold and you should always be running the hunt event too so be ready for that it's all in the patch notes uh if you're on my discord i have a section set up for the uh hunt buff info other than that guys thank you all so so much for watching i plan to do a lot more videos i'm so glad a lot of y'all just so many of y'all have been showing amazing support all the comments likes stopping by the twitch live streams it's been absolutely incredible guys so i plan to put out a lot more videos for you guys a lot of y'all are telling me it helps a ton i don't mind uh, i actually love it i'm glad y'all are enjoying the game so expect more stuff coming soon thank you as always for watching and i'll catch you guys in the next one all right peace out y'all